Well, hello there. Welcome back to another fabulous day uh, of Crafters TV. Well, I say another fabulous day. You've already been woken up, alerted, rudely awoken this morning uh, by the lovely Craig, of course. And Craig uh, is joining me now uh, for a fantastic Craft Vault show. How are you, Craig? I'm doing very good, thank you very much. Yes, good to be back with you. Start of the week, although technically some people actually start Sunday as the beginning of the week. Some no, that's yeah. wrong. Sunday. You know those people, Craig? They're wrong. They're, they're wrong, they may be wrong. Some are wrong, some are right. Whatever way you want to think about it, it is Monday. I was on earlier on, well, just an hour or so ago, but yeah, we've got a jam-packed, well, hour when it comes to craft vault. Mm, it's gonna be fantastic. The theme of the show today is three for two. So everything across the entire craft vault is three for two. I need to let you know as well, you know, normally we have a first uh, craft vault instalment and then we have another one a little bit later in the day. This is the only one today. So if you want to grab the deals, you need to grab them in this show. Let's dive in and have a look at all the fabulous things that are coming your way over the next hour with myself and Craig. We've got um, Nature's Garden on the show for you. Uh, this is the Nature's Garden Peacock Collection uh, with Century Repel. Now you've got 40 elements within here, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. So uh, a great saving there as well, 14.98 or 19.90. Uh, we've also got some Totally Tiffany for you as well. It is a storage collection. A fifth of the stock has already gone here on these, so you'll need to be quick for that one. 9.98 or 11.98. You'll get to see that in more detail a little later in the show. Now, a great collection for you uh, on the Peekaboos. 16.98 uh, or 22.90 if you wanna get your hands on those. Now, up next, we've got oh, some Spectrum Noir in the show for you. This is a really awesome bundle because what you're getting in here is you're getting the classics uh, with the Nina cardstock and a stamp. That is, honestly, the perfect little starter kit. Add a ink pad to that, a great little present, 23.98 or 35.94. Remember, no one's paying that. You're all gonna get some sort of club discount. 9.98 is what you're looking at for all of the tape pens. So uh, you can see here, you're gonna get two of the dotty uh, and one of the permanent, 9.98 or 13.90. It's great uh, to get uh, such a fantastic saving. Uh, remember, everything three for two across this entire Craft Vault show. Uh, the Spectrum Light Ink Pad and Swash Stamp Bundle is what we're going to be looking at next for you here. These swash stamps are absolutely awesome uh, because they're really great for journaling or doing on the front of sort of smaller cards. Uh, you get the Noir Black and the Orange Quick Dry within there as well. You're buying the ink pads, you're getting the stamps totally free of charge. Also, we have got oh, one of our fantastic craft boxes available for you on the show as well. It is the Eclipse, uh, Eclipse I'll try that again, the Eclipse Stamp Craft Kit with a tape pen and the ribbon, which is awesome. Uh, so it's a really fantastic deal there for that one. Uh, make sure you grab it. Craig's gonna be taking us through that in a few minutes. Uh, this, of course, is signature collection we're looking at as well. It is the rose gold um, signature collection embossing folder alongside the Pebio gilding wax and the ivory century pearl cardstock as well. What a lovely bundle. Now, up next, we have got one of Craig's absolute favourites here. It is the floral decoupage. Uh, it's the Peony Blooms set, 2098 or 3298 if you want to get your hands on it. Now, got a fantastic deal for you on the Gemini Junior. Now, it is sold out in the US. Uh, ignore that US price, it is not available. It's only available in the UK. Uh, however, you've got a fantastic deal on it because what you're getting is you're buying the Junior, uh, you're getting free plastic shim in there as well with this plate storage bag too. Um, you've got a great saving. Uh, if you're a Club Inspired Platinum member, you can pick this Junior up for 116 pounds today in the UK, which is absolutely awesome. If you are not familiar with the Gemini, I say, do you know what I'd say? I'd say, what rock have you been hiding under? Uh, but here are all the details of the fantastic Gemini Junior.
it really is an awesome product that uh, i think if you haven't got one uh, a lot of you maybe um will be upgrading from the mini maybe you've got a large gemini uh, i know that the gemini junior is craig's go-to uh, machine as well so remember as a platinum member here in the uk 116 pounds if you want to pick that one up something else that we're going to look at first off because they are so incredibly popular is of course our crafting kits. Now this is the Eclipse kit. If you're in the subscription service, and a lot of you will have already got this, it's box number 29, this one here specifically. Uh, and what you're also getting in here with this today as well is you're gonna get the ribbon and you're getting uh, that dotty tape pen in there as well, which is awesome because you would be paying more than this normally for the box to get the box on its own. I think when we launched them, we launched them at 24.99. Uh, when we have them on a sale, we uh, have them on a sale. Actually, is that, I just want to check, is that definitely the, that is, is it the right one? I think we might have the wrong details on the screen. Let's just get those changed for you. There we are. Uh, so the Crafts Companion Eclipse Stamp Craft Kit uh, with the tape, uh, the pen, and the ribbon there as well. So uh, you can see you're getting all of that included. The dotty tape pen is coming to you totally free of charge, which is great. Uh, and Craig, so, so much in these. I know we say they make 24 cards, these kit, kits, but I think you're gonna do many more than that. Would you agree? Yeah, oh yeah, completely agree. And you know, those tape runners, you know, they can be around about three ninety nine. That ribbon can be about eight ninety nine, you know, when it was available on its own. Obviously the tape runner is still available on its own, but it gives you a bit of a an idea as to price wise. And yeah, when it comes to this one, this is completely that. It is a craft box in one. So what we can do is let's have a look. So if you are uh, new to these ones, as Joe says, it makes twenty four cards, uh, but then what you can then do is you can make more afterwards because you've got the dies and the stamps that will last you a long time as long as you look after. Them. So to start with, it's 250 elements in total, always come nicely wrapped up. So let's go to the main uh, focal point of the box. So in here you've got your lovely little die, so these are your alphabet dies, they're really nice and small. You can be using these for so many things, not just for your Eclipse stamp and craft kit. So you've got your dies, but what you've also got as well is you've got your stamps. So you've got these stamps with sentiments, but you've got some flowers, you've got some leaves, you've got some florals and then what you're going to be doing is stamping on the background and that's going to create the eclipse we'll show you that just in a moment when it comes to finished samples you've got organza ribbon as well so you've got three different types you've got three different colors but you've got nine in total and that's uh, in the different widths you're even getting some gems straight away you can see the color tones that's running through this collection within the craft kit you get your envelopes as well as your card blanks as well so that is they are ready good to go but then when it comes to the pattern papers you get the pattern papers and we want to show you the images running throughout very very spring-like and floral but what i love about these papers joe is we've gone from real bright when it comes to your ribbon and gems but then we've settled it down slightly when it comes to the pattern paper when it comes to the pastel tones but then what you also get is you get your papers to coordinate so you've got all these colours that run through it, a mix of bright, a mix of some of your pastel tones as well. That all comes included when it comes to the box. So that's where you can make a minimum of your 24 by using the card blanks that you'll be able to see here. So you're getting your metal die, you're getting 26 of your metal dies, you're getting 24 of your card blanks, you're getting 24 of your envelopes. Then when it comes to your acrylic stamps, you're getting uh, your 24 of your acrylic acrylic stamps, you're getting 24 of your colour cardstock that we showed you, you're even getting 24 of the tw uh, printed papers, you're then in total getting your nine reels of your ribbon and then of course you're getting your gems which you have got a hundred when it comes to these gems and then give you an idea as to what you can be making. So the idea is, is you stamp your, uh, your image, you colour it in, and then what you do is you go over the top, Joe, with your dies, and then die cut them out. And then you raise them up, either with a bit of glue gel, or if you do like your really small foam pads like me, you're going to raise it up with a bit of black cardstock on the back. So we've got hugs there. We've got congrats congrats on this one here. Now, trust me, I know when it's on screen, you sometimes think, 
mm, Craig, can I really read that? When you get up close and personal with it at home, it really, they will, oh, I love that. Thank you. We've got uh, producer Laura today. Laura wasn't meant to be in today, but she is in today. And we've got Charlotte. Look at that. So this is where you can see how well that that looks. How I dimensional. I think it's very modern, Craig, isn't Very, it? very modern. So this is how the whole concept of the box looks and is what you're going to create. But you can be using them so many different ways, Joe. If you just want to add a sentiment on the bottom of your cards, you can do. But the whole idea is stamp your image and then what you can do, colour it if you want, then do your uh, die cutting over the top if you so wish. Really, really stylish, as Joe was saying. Really fun to actually do. Bit different, something I hadn't seen before until it came to this kit. Mm, it really is fantastic and remember what you're getting in there you are getting the kit uh, if you collect these as well just to let you know it's number 29 uh, that you're getting you're also getting the garden of love ribbon and you're getting the dotty tape pen in there as well very busy for this already a lot of you placing your orders for this this morning loads of you saying hello as well this morning uh jean marie is saying hello over on facebook georgie ann curley says hi joe and craig from clearwater you two hello. are so cute and funny how lovely is that? Uh, Renee says hi from Virginia. Sally's saying hi. Uh, Fred is in Cal. Fred's in California. You are up and at him this morning, Fred. At what? 3 a.m.? Is it 3 a.m.? 4 a.m.? Oh, uh, so 9 a.m. is 4 a.m. Pacific time. 9, 10, 11. It's that early, one. Fred. So it's 6 a.m. Pacific it's time. 3 a.m. 3 a.m. in, uh, in California. <laughs> I'm glad we got her in the end. Melanie says as well, hello uh, from Norwich uh, too. A lot of you let me know what you're buying. Rebecca's saying uh, that she's already gone for that Eclipse Craft Kit this morning. Glad you got your hands on it. Uh, Veronica says she's very excited for Craft Fox. She loves learning. Ray's here saying hello, Joe. Panda's uh, in as well. So Panda says, morning, everyone. Just made it. Shower, washing in, dryers on, washer on, now tea, and relax for an hour. Well, you put your feet up, Panda. Absolutely do. Uh, June says, I've got this box and I haven't opened it yet. June. Come on, you can't create anything amazing if you don't open the box. Uh, Nicole Bretherick as well, the lovely Nicole, is watching us whilst working away. Great to have you company. Uh, and also Diana is watching us too. Now, let's move on. And I want to share with you some of the Tutty Tiffany stuff that is on the show today. So these are great, these little pouches. They're really awesome uh, for getting yourself organised. Now, you get four of each of these. So you're going to get the three slot one firstly, uh, which is this one just here. And you can see these are great. They're wonderful if you want to put them into things like folders or, or, or great for organising drawers actually uh, as well. A fifth of the stock's gone here. So you get the three one, you get the one that is one small slot and then the one wider slot. You're going to get four of those. And then you actually get four of this one as well, which is the one wide slot. Um, so that's all one piece. You get four of those. So you'll get the... I'll just take you through that again you get three piece one uh, you'll also get the two slot one and you'll get the one slot one as well four of each of those which is great you're getting 12 pieces for less than uh, well if you're in the club you can for less than eight pounds lots of people getting organized in January as well which is awesome uh, making sure that you're uh, you know all having a good declutter making sure you can find all of those awesome craft products that you've got Fred lets me know it is 3 a.m. thank you uh, Fred for, for jumping back in and letting us know there uh, right we're gonna look at decoupage next now, I love this. I know Craig loves this as well. Uh, and it was a really awesome concept when we launched this. So what you're going to get in here, let's start with the pad, because the pad is where it all starts. Now, with the pad, you've got options. So you can either fussy cut these out with a pair of scissors if you want to. Nothing to stop you doing that. But what you'll notice is all of the flowers are numbered. You've got 48 sheets in here, which means 48 uh, individual projects. But what you'll also then get included too is you get the dies. And the, die, the numbers of the dies um, correlate with the numbers in the pad. Therefore, you lay the two over together and it cuts everything out. And then you manipulate it and you decoupage it up. I know what you're thinking, though. OK, that's brilliant. What do I do when I run out of the pad? Well, then you've got the stamps, which is awesome. So you can actually just stamp the stamps out and then lay the dies over and decoupage those out. So it really is awesome. Gives you really lovely, full, um, really sort of lush, finished projects it's great for going on cards it's wonderful for doing the things like box frames uh, your home decor you're going to love for that as well two uh, 20 pounds 98 32 98 uh, if you are in the us craig i know this is something that you loved when we launched this collection didn't you 
I absolutely adore this collection, this full collection that came out. I love it so much. It is decoupage, so, you know, of course, I'm going to love it. Uh, I'm not doing anything that you're missing out as such. I will go over it in a second. I'm just uh, taping down a, sm a few small bits. Now, what you get is you get your paper pad, as Joe was just saying. Now, what happens is the dies actually uh, coordinate with the paper pad, so they lay exactly over the top, bang over the top. So what we can then do is bring these ones in. Now, you can be using the dies, but Joe, I love fussy cutting, mm. as you know. So if you wanted to, you can fussy cut them. You get a shadow edge all the way around with the white, so follow that line if you want. Or if you like to go in with even more detail, you can then snip into all of these little nooks and crannies, get all these little bits out, and really go to town when it comes to the detailed dimension. But because we've got the dies, what we are going to do is pop them over the top. So you do get that white shadow. Now what you also find is each image is numbered. So we've got one on this one here, it does say one just there. And then also on the little tab of this die, there we've got, oh perfect, you can see. So we've got number one. And then when it comes to the die, we've also got number one here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that one over the top. And then I'm making sure that it's right over the top, following the line on the outside, and I'm going to tape it down. And then I'm going to place that, and I'm going to do exactly the same. Do you, if you had this job, would you do your die cutting or would you fussy cut? I'm fussy cut. I'm quite up for having a go at fussy cutting some of this out as we go through the show, actually, Craig. What now? Uh, yeah, right now. Do you want have to? you got any scissors? Yeah, please. Yeah. Do I have any scissors? You know me. Sort, sort me out with your, your crafty stash and I'll have a little go as we go through the show. We'll see what I can't have. If I cut it all out during the show, will you let me glue it together? Of course. All right, brilliant. Uh, I'm taking it. Do you want, tell you what, tell you what, before you go, tell, before you go, do you want, let's give you, just in case, let's... Getting let's, crafty in the show today. Let's give you some, just in case you use it. I'm going to step all back. Right. There you go. Thank you very much. In case you manage to do that, and then see how. Uh, <laughs> in you case get you manage to do it, highly doubtful. No, I mean, but we'll in have case a go. you manage to <laughs> actually be able to la layer up. Yeah, it's because you so told me to do it do? myself yesterday. You see, I'm getting myself uh, trained up, Craig. Ready, just in case you uh, the stroppy Scotty comes back. <laughs> <laughs> You're a monkey. You're a little monkey. So you are. <laughs> I'm going to line all of these ones back up over the top. Although, and to be saying that, to be have you got your tongue out concentrating, have you? Do you do that at home? See, when you're concentrating, do you stick your tongue out? No. I, um, I don't think I do. I have realised I've got this habit, though, of if I'm smiling for a picture, I'm like, I always push my tongue forward in my mouth so it's behind my teeth, weirdly. Do I don't you? know what that's about. Yeah, I don't oh. know what that does. Apparently... If you push your tongue right up onto the roof of your mouth, when you smile, it gets rid of the double chin, so <laughs> it also makes you look like a bit of a loon, but you know. <laughs> I kind of look like the legend of uh, Bruce Forsyth. <laughs> again, again. Nice to see you, to see nice you, to nice. See you. Nice. <laughs> Now, I'm popping this one onto our cutting plate. It's going to fit onto your Gemini Junior plates, or they're going to fit onto your MIDI plates. Of course, they're going to fit on your large Gemini. But, Joe, what you can do as well, if you want to cut them separately and run them through your small die cutting machines, you can do. It will work that way. But we're layering it up. Same plate configuration. So we've got our plastic shim magnetic and then our top cutting plate. So that's not only going to cut all the way around these individual elements. What it's going to do is it's actually going to give you a debossed uh, area throughout each image. So it's going to give you that bit of a touchy-feely card. These are so good and so important. If you're giving someone a card that is maybe a little bit sight impaired and uh, they like to do, they have that touchy-feely, you've got that element within cards like this. You've got that dimension with your glue gel or foam pads, but even with the debossed area within the images, it really works really, really well. So we can see how that's die cut perfectly all the way around the leaves, all the way around the uh, peony, you can see here. If you wanted to come then in and freehand into these little bits, you can do, but at least the bulk of the die cutting is done. So let's take some of these layers and let's pop our pads on. So let's take some of these. Now, if you go onto our website and you look at our foam pad range, we do do bundles where you get different depths, so you can have you know, 
thicker or taller layers if you want. If you are using a glue gel, then you can obviously determine how big or small height-wise you have them. But if we just take, so this is layer one, and then let's take a foam pad. Let's actually, let's go for a few smaller ones. Now, you know me, I will always pop loads of layers of foam pads, but for time and speed, what we're going to do is we're just going to marry that one up. So taking the corresponding image and we're popping it straight over the top. So bang over the top, we're popping it. And then we can just work our way around. You can bring out this pad here and you can keep all your uh, die cut elements in line. But I've just messed them all up. But I know which one goes where. Awesome. Uh, Cheryl, our resident delivery driver, has a message to Craig. Uh, she says, good morning, Jack and Craig. Uh, from Ni uh, Cheryl from Niagara Falls. Uh, off today for once. So I'm watching you on the big television. Whoa. What an upgrade, Cheryl, to just hearing us. At least you're not going to be, um, you know, laughing in anyone f anyone's faces. Give that power bank a rest. Get it charged up for a change. Uh, I hope you uh, enjoy yourself uh, on your day off. Uh, Sarah Brown says, oh, Joe, looking forward to seeing your card. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you later on Monday Makers, Sarah. Uh, Donna says the peony blooms are really nice. Jocelyn saying, uh, hi from Nottingham. Hold the front page. I found my set. Classic rose decoupage topper and dies. I knew I had one. Now to use it. Uh, and Jeffrey says, obtain these from HCN on auto ship. They are now awe inspiring collection. Uh, really, really loving them. Katie's says as well Craig uh, if you uh, poke your face out towards and then down a touch it also helps with the double chin too I know these things I grew a beard so I mean that was that's the ultimate double chin disguise Craig a, uh, I think so. out a bit and then down a bit <laughs> I'm not oh, sure to make I'm not sure Katie like I'm really not sure I don't think so no I think I've just looked like a prize plum like that <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah, you can tell me anything, I'll just do it. You're right enough, Laura. I know. I should really think sometimes before I actually do whatever I'm doing. Now, I've got two little bits left. So all that I'm going to do is chop down my foam pads and we can pop that one on there. We can pop that one on there. If you do go for like a foam pad bundle, if you check out our website, if they're in stock, you do get small pads within the set but this shows you you can chop down your pads if you want. And I'm going to layer that one on there. And then let's take our leaves to finish this one off. And we can pop that one into place. Now, even with foam pads, you could still shape your die cuts if you want. I kind of like a myth that you can only shape if you're using glue gel, but you can shape with your pads. But look at the depth that you get within these ones here. So these are great for making a real centerpiece, a real focal piece onto your cards or your projects. So then you can see how that's how it looks once it's been created. And then if I bring in some that's already been popped onto cards, you can see. So it could be square cards, it could be five by seven, it could be Z fold cards that we can see on this one here and then you're really making nice little this is a card this could be a little tag if you wanted to something very very simple with an embossed background on the back you can see how that looks really small cards this is what really makes them substantial making the small cards substantial funny enough but go all out change the look Add two, add three if you want. Cut into them, I pop them onto backdrop. So what I mean by that is you can have them so that they're tucking in on each other. There really is so much you can do. Also, to say that stamp set as well, do exactly the same. Stamp it out, die cut it. You can create your own decoupage. He's lost concentration. Oh, sorry, back to me. Uh, I was just having a lovely time there, Craig. Look, cutting out my... Uh Cutting that out. I, I better do. Should I do some work first, and then I'll go back to. Uh, I'll go back to that. Uh, Diana saying beautiful peonies. Uh, Sally Bond also saying decoupage never goes out of fashion. It really doesn't. It's such an awesome technique. Remember what you get in there. You get your your pad. Forty eight pages of the pad. The dies that are going to allow you to cut that out of there. You can either cut it out. I think if you want to do it with your scissors, then absolutely uh, you can. Uh, and you've also got the stamps there as well. Right. I need to show you the peacock because that is very busy. 
I was on Craig's show earlier, two awesome collections of this. So what you've got is you've got Proud as a Peacock, which is the stamp and die collection, which you've got just here, which is lovely because that is um, really beautiful. You can really layer those peacock feathers up. He looks a bit, <laughs> he looks a bit bald, doesn't he there? <laughs> without, you know his, without his feathers. Do you know what I said in, uh, in the, the first show earlier on? He reminds me of uh, the chicken and chicken run. <laughs> and also, remember the film The Labyrinth? You know, the big character and he's got the big, like, chicken head thing. Reminds me of that as well. What should I do? Yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna have to have a look. I'm, gonna, I'm going to Google. Uh, stamp and die set there. And you've also then got as well the words of inspiration stamps. You get as well included in here the royal blue 10 pack of Centura Pearl as well. So it's a really lovely little combination that. 14.98 if you're in the UK, 19.90. I know you had a look at this in Wake Up Call with Craig this morning, uh, didn't you Craig? I did indeed. Yeah, we had that in the first show and we actually showed you relatively quickly, but we showed you what you can actually create. The Proud as a Peacock. So within the Proud of the Peacock, this gives you all the individual elements, stamp and dies. So what you can then do is create your full peacock with the plumage of all the feathers. So you can go really subtle, you can add loads and loads if you want. You can then colour them and ink them and shade them and blend them if you want. So that's what it would look like black and white. This is the way that I kept it in the show to keep it quick and simple. But if you were to colour them in, this is how they can start to look. So just really building up the feathers. So colour them in with classics. But within here, I've kept these ones flat, but what you could do is layer them up with your glue gel if you wanted to. But again, circle cards, even square cards that you can uh, use them. If you do happen to have any of your uh, individual parts and components of when it first launched, why not use them? Maybe your concept cards that you can be using, maybe uh, using them with that one. Then we've also got the sentiments as well, not just that proud as a peacock. We've got this uh, actual stamp set that's got lots of sizable fonts. But then you can see just adding that uh, uh, accent on the backdrop. But this one is using the sentiments here. Another one as well with the sentiments somewhere. Where is it? What oh, sentiments falling off that one? This one, what we're doing is we're just looking at the sentiment at the bottom. Maybe the sentiment's going to be a center focal point even heat and boss them if you want. So you can see just nicely, just to finish up here, there. So there we go, as well as the one that I showed you that we made this morning, that's the sort of thing that you can be creating with a set. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, make sure you go back and watch that uh, <laughs> earlier show. I'm gonna have to put this down, Craig. I might save that for the break between shows because it's just- uh, So addictive. You know, it's so addictive and I can't put it down. If you wanna grab hold of the Nature's Peacock uh, collection, then you can remember what you're getting. You're getting stamps and dies, uh, which are awesome. Uh, you're also getting those sentiment stamps in there as well as that wonderful cardstock. Now let's move on to our classic bundle that we have for you on the show. And I love this. Again, a great starter kit, this. If you've got someone that maybe you, uh, let's face it, look, loads of us have got a bit of extra time on our hands at the moment. It would be a great gift. It'd be a great care package if you wanted to have it sent to someone else as well. In here, what you're going to get is you're going to get uh, the classics in here. So in there, you've got the design collection. So you're going to get the uh, red lipstick. You've got dandelion, grass, jade green, teal. Uh, you've got scion, ultramarine. Uh, Regal, Regal, uh, Magento, <laughs> Coffee and Ice Cream. Say that again, uh, Laura. <laughs> Classics. Class Squeeze. Ah, oh, the, the Spectrum Nast Class Squeeze, as it says on the graphics. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're the other one. No, they're not. They're the same ones. Uh, the Classics. Uh, you've got the Nina cardstock in there, uh, which is awesome because the Nina cardstock is, of course, uh, what you need to use your alcohol markers with. And you're getting those stamps for free in there as well, which is brilliant. $23.98 or $35.94 uh, if you want to go for those ones. Now, we've also got the embossing collection available for you on the show as well. Uh, this is brilliant because it's from our rose gold signature collection. Now, if your signature collections that you're into the market for, then launch day coming up in an hour and a half with myself and Craig slash Sarah. Uh, Craig is going to be here for the first, you're going to be here for the first half an hour, is that right Craig? I am indeed and I'm quickly going to say as well, if you want some brand new floral decoupage, 
There's a set within the brand new signature collection as well. Oh, new floral decoupage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Love that. Uh, well, this is a previous collection of one of our sorry, signature collections. It is the rose, uh, the rose gold collection, which I always want to call Rose Gold Garden. I call yes. Rose Garden Rose Gold I'm now. The same. I know. Uh, what you're also getting in here is you're getting the ivory century repair, which goes with it beautifully, and you're going to get uh, the gilding wax in here as well, which is really awesome uh, value for money. Um, because the gilding, how much is the gilding wax on its own normally is eleven ninety nine. So I mean for a few more pounds you're getting absolutely all of that which is fantastic so do grab that uh, do stock up on that uh, one there as well which is fabulous uh, now Craig um, I believe you're going to take us through this lots of you chatting away uh, Panda Crafts uh, <laughs> uh, says are you drifted away then Joe like Sarah when she's in a colouring coming it's exactly the same um, Carol Coasters Joe just reminded me of my late brother yesterday Mount had a personality similar to Joe's I've missed a cheeky banter so I love yesterday's shows oh, are you more than welcome Carol um, Elizabeth says morning busy morning wake up with Craig straight into our hunky dory Facebook live straight into craft fault few I need to lay down already uh, Carol Coast is a peacock collection is my absolute favorite collection so far lots of you uh, snapping that one up uh, quickly as well this morning okay rose gold then uh, it was I want to say it was the biggest signature collection launch of last year you know uh, rose gold Craig do you know so I actually I'm going to agree with you on that one I, I, you know I'm sure, I'm sure that it was the biggest uh, collection that Sarah's done. But what we're going to do with this one is we're going to show you the embossing folder with the gildan wax. Now this is, I, I always say this one here, this specific one I'm going to show you, is like a, a standard embossing folder. There's nothing standard about it. What I just mean by that is it's not one of our 3D embossing folders, but the detail you're still going to get is phenomenal. So I've taken some of that Centura Peril cardstock, I've just trimmed it down to five, uh, not quite five by seven, but at least five inches so that it fits in my folder. So we're going to sandwich that one in like that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my base cutting plate. I'm going to bring in my top cutting plate and that's going to be the sandwich for your folder. However, what I am going to do is just to add that little bit more depth, I'm going to pop my metal shim in as well and then my top folder. So that just gives you a couple of more millimetres of thickness when it comes to the pressure of the Gemini. So it's really going to hone in and push out all of that detail. So that's going to come through. It's edge to edge when it comes to the embossing folder. I can then take this one here. I'm going to remove them. Now, when I say edge to edge, obviously my cardstock isn't cut size to size, but if you cut it five by seven, you can see how it looks. Now, even on its own with Centura Peril, look at all of the roses just popping all the way through. Nothing stopping you. If you are going to get your Care and Thoughts collection, nothing stopping you incorporating these as well. It's going to work really, really well, but let's enhance it that little bit more. Now, some people think as well, when it comes to gilding wax, you can't use gilding wax on two centura peril. You absolutely can. You, so gilding wax is used for things like your home decor, whether it's home furnishings or wood or anything textured like that. So it just means that you 100% can go on top of your centura peril. So what I'm going to do is let's just, I'll do it here so that you can see. So I've just got my pot and I'm just dipping my finger in. I'm taking the excess off my glass mat. If you got the craft mat on last night's craft vault, then you can be using that one to make it a little bit quicker to tidy up. It would be ideal to do it on your craft mat because it just means once I finish this, I'll need to clean all this excess off straight away. Whereas if you're using your craft mat, it means then that you can just move the craft mat out the way and come back and clean it all at the end once that you are tidying up. And that gilding works, Craig, I mean, that's going to last you forever, isn't it? It's going to last you so, so long. My, it wasn't the Renaissance, it was the, the other one, I think. It wasn't, it was King Gold, I think. I bought, oh, years and years ago, even before, you know, I well joined Crafter's Companion, and I mean a good number of years before, and I've still got loads and loads left. So you just know that it really is going to last you so, so long. But what I'm going to do, Joe, is I'm just going to do half of this, and then this is then going to show you the difference of once you've got your, even then from up above, look at that. But having that reflection from the Renaissance gold, and then if I bring this one in, I'm going to bring it up close for you to see. So you can see how it looks when we've left it plain, 
and it looks so lovely. And then the other half when we've used the Renaissance gold. And then what we can do is if we'll bring in just a couple that I've got here. This is how you could then use the folder. So the folder's been used on the backdrop right in the back there. So you don't need to leave it plain. You can then do your embossing. An idea that we actually done a week or so ago on Crafters TV. Or if you want to do your smaller, but your concept cards, then you absolutely can. So if you've got your Ultimate Pro and your Ultimate Pro USB, follow that and use your embossing folder with that. Really, um, really nice. Really beautiful, a lovely, such a gorgeous collection. And you know what, I mean, it's instantly recognisable, that collection, Craig. There's nothing else out there like it uh, on the market or here at Crafters TV, which is awesome. Cheryl, our resident delivery driver, she sent us in a telfy, Craig, apparently. Uh, so hopefully we'll be able to dust that off and, uh, and get that shown to you, because uh, it's lovely to put names to faces. Let me remind you what's in this uh, Peacock collection, as you can see just here. So you're going to get those stamps and dies. Oh, it was, sorry. Oh, I'm getting myself all back to front, aren't I? The rose gold one, which is uh, down there. Um, so remember what you're getting in there included. So you're going to get the embossing folder, you're going to get the gilding wax, and you're going to get the ivory card stock in there as well. You should be paying 11 99 or 16 99 just for the uh, gilding wax alone, which is absolutely fantastic value for money. Right, let's move on. Let's have a look at the swash stamps next. Uh, so. Uh, you're getting the swash stamps absolutely free of charge, which is awesome because, and these are fantastic because they are really great to add as an embellishment. They're wonderful to use on the inside of your cards, which is brilliant. Uh, you've got all of the little ones there. You could even maybe even play around with doing your own background papers using some of the little embellishing stamps that are in there as well. You're going to get that for free when your uh, different sentiments you've got there are good luck, happy birthday, uh, bon voyage, um, what does this one say just there? I can't see it upside down. Hab um, happy... Happy retirement, is it? Retirement, sorry. I'm upside down, back to front. Well done. Uh, and new baby as well. Uh, then what you're getting, of course, as well, is you're getting the quick dry ink pad. So you're getting it in the black and you're getting it in the orange there as well. All of that for under £10, I think, is a really awesome bundle. If you're thinking about treating yourself to a little something and not breaking the bank, then I think that probably is definitely the collection for you uh, today. Uh, beautiful, love that gilding wax, says uh, Diana. So, I mean, if you were thinking about getting the gilding wax, I mean, you may as well get that collection for a few pounds, a few dollars more. You get absolutely everything uh, with the rose gold. Uh, now, these are awesome, uh, and I think these are a bit different, aren't they, Craig? Very modern. I seem to see a lot of cards on sort of Etsy and in card shops that have got these more sort of paired back styles on the front, you know, these smaller sentiments. They do, yeah, there's more and more coming up and more and more people are doing it by hand where uh, they write the font and then what they do themselves freehand, the squiggly edge. Now, not everyone can do that or not everyone thinks that it looks creative. This is a, a cheap way of doing it. The stamps do it for you. So in this card here, this is actually using one of the stamps as well because it's not only the sentiments, you've got some little embellishment stamps. So that's been done on the backdrop. But then we've done a baby one as well. So it could be a band across a concept and you can see how we even use the star stamps as well. Then maybe just something really simple with a butterfly stamp and then popped it right along the bottom. Happy retirement here. Or then you can go all out, bringing in all of your eggs. Keeping in mind you get the orange as well as the noir black, adding that little accent in that bottom corner, just as a bit of a good luck. So really quick cards that you can make, but obviously it hones in to the point of whatever the sentiment is. Really fun and really funky, I think. Mm, absolutely. Remember what you're getting in there, so you're getting the swatch stamps themselves. You're not paying for those. It's the simply said ones that are in this uh, configuration. Uh, and then you're also getting both of the ink pads in there for you as well. So you're getting the orange and the black. So a really great deal there. And that's what this craft fault was all about. You getting awesome deals and it is a, a three for two that you're looking at. Craft Art always has a theme across the shows. Um, oh, I'll tell you what, I'm a right old butterfingers today and I've got a bit of a sore back, so the two together uh, is not a good combo. Let me go through what you're getting here in this Peekaboo collection, uh, which is what we're going to be looking at next. So what you're getting are the two different characters in here. So you're getting the bear. I love the fact that you get the inside and the outside. Now, the great thing about this is you're not only getting the characters, you're also getting the arch dies to cut the aperture into there, which is fantastic. So you're going to include that for you. Uh, that on its own as well. Um, I'll just grab the price for that on its own. Um, they're normally 9 99 so you're only playing £7 uh, for the characters, which is great. 
Uh, you've got here the bear, which is brilliant. So you have the die that cuts the bear in. You've also got all the stamps that you need uh, to make that into a full project. Uh, you've got the bunny here as well, as well. Uh, bunny is worried um, about you. Ah, oh, that's cute. And then you've got his little floofy tail there uh, on the back. You can mix and match. Uh, as well uh, and you've got the arches in there for you too 16.98 or 22.90 if you want to get your hands on those Craig have you got a few examples over there the things you can do with these I do so what we can do is we can show you here how what you can do is the opposite what I mean by that is you've got the front and the back of the bear or the rabbit so you can have it so you're actually seeing the back of the bear and then have it so on the inside you can see him through he's actually looking in that could be an image that could be a topper that you're uh, you've got and then we've got z fold card that you can see it here so using them multiple times and then creating your cards as that so nice concept cards that you can be using and creating another one with the bunny where you can see it's actually looking toward inwards but you can have it so that it's looking outwards and then another one bit of a, a Z fold card and you can see that idea so use them multiple times if you want what you could do is you could use the bear and the rabbit at the same time really simple one where you've got the bear just peeping out just having a look and then what you've got is sending you big bear hugs so the stamps work in conjunction with the word as well another one when it comes to the bear so if you like to do any of your stepper cards then it works well so that they're peeping out and then just to show you as well even although it's a stepper card if i go on the inside you can still stamp the body you would need to finish coloring it in if you want but it lets you see that it's not leaving it blank on the inside another small stepper card seeing the bunny this has got to be one of uh, producer laura's favorites loves that one just peeping out so you're getting a lot of dimensional look when it comes to these cars but they're so not only are they cute but they're really really funky and they're really fun to make as well and the fact is they could have them look in inwards they could look outwards you know you could use the back use the front on their own if you want to use the stamps on their own the dies on their own there's a lot of things that you can do and uh, cross them over if you want as well awesome i've just got my first layer of decoupage done craig i'm have very you? very proud i'm very very pleased myself. Have you gone with the glue gel or the pads? I've gone with the glue gel. I wish I'd have like manipulated it a little bit more, uh, but there we go. I've got my first, my first layer of uh, decoupage is done. Wow. I'll let you know how I get on as I go uh, through the show. I mean, it's definitely not perfect, Craig, but I mean, nothing that ever is. is. Good. Nothing ever is, is it? Uh, Donna says, nice set. I need that set. Uh, and Diana as well saying how much she loves the gilding wax as well. Uh, lots of you uh, talking about the Gemini Junior and how much you love that. I just want to recap the pricing that we've got on that. It's very rarely that you'll see uh, the Gemini Junior or the Gemini machines on our shows, uh, the bigger machines especially. So it's great to have them on. There is not available in the US, I will say that, although you've got a US price there on your screen. Uh, £116 as a club inspired platinum member today as well. And Craig, I know we, well, we were joking about it just yesterday, weren't we? That you switch it out and you go back to using the Junior literally at any opportunity. I do. You will always, always, always see me 95% of the time. I always have the junior. And then what I'll do is if I'm doing a bigger project where I need the large Gemini, I'll flip over. Debbie, Sarah, they use the large Gemini most of the time and use the junior plates. But I find that majority of the stuff of what I'm doing goes through the junior. I've always got it at the side of me. Slightly smaller. It's more compact. It takes up less space. However, the pressure is still there. It doesn't matter whether you're going for the daddy Gemini or you're going for the Gemini Mini, the pressure is still here. But having that junior, this is where you're going to find that so many of your dies at home, your wafer thin dies are going to go through. But then think about your embossing that you can do. You can still do your embossing through your stencils when it comes to the Gemini Junior. You've still got that pause, you've still got that reverse. Nothing is taken away from the Gemini Junior. You can do your uh, wafer thin dies, you can do your mixed media dies, you can do your embossing folders, your 3D embossing folders. I absolutely love my junior whether it's here it's always the first one that I'll bring out to pop at the side of me whether it's at home if you see my lives I always have it at the right hand side of me at home as well it's my workhorse it's my one that I use time and time and time again and really at any time you'll always see me bringing this one out it is of course you know our junior one so there you go you know that you're going to get what you already know and love when it comes to the large Gemini but in the junior. Um, you get the plate and storage bag with that as well. It's not just about cutting cardstock, though, is it, the Gemini? Because I think a lot of the time uh, we fall into the trap, 
Craig, I think because it's a die cutting machine, it's just going to cut card. With a Gemini, you can cut a whole host of different things. You, you are, yeah, absolutely. As, as I say, you know, if you already know the large Gemini, you do exactly the same, just on a slightly smaller scale when it comes to the mouth, it's being uh, six inches in length. But yeah, if you're doing your cardstock, your glitter card, your matte card, your vellum, it could be your acetate, it could be your fabric, it could be your gross grain, it could be your leathers, it could be your uh, cottons. All of these materials are going to die. It could be your uh, real thin uh, chipboard. It could be your mount board with your uh, actual um, mixed media dies. So you can be doing all of these things. So it doesn't take, obviously, those old dies that are the, the thick ones. However, what we do at Crafters Companion is we bring in our mixed media dies, which replace those thick dies, and you can still use them through your junior. So so many different ways and things that you can be doing when it comes to the junior. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you can. I've just, I've got. I'm, I was just about. Oh no, I've just got silicone glue all over the work surface. <laughs> we'll, we'll worry about that in a minute. Right, tape pens, Craig. A uh, really great deal here for you on the tape pens because you're buying the two dotty ones. I'll use this. To, I'll use a bit of cardstock to scrape it off the counter in a moment. Uh, and what you get then is you get the permanent tape pen as well, included, uh, totally free of charge, yeah. which is absolutely awesome. I am having the loveliest time. I'm just going to scrape this off the surface now. Oh, yes, Craig. Oh, he's a winner. Uh, he's going to bring me a... Oh, there we are. A, uh, a wipe to remove that glue uh, from there. Thank you very much for that, Craig. Oh, You're very welcome. Uh, we're going to go back to the decoupage. I I've been having a lovely time uh, fussy cutting away uh, our de decoupage pad. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. Of course, you want a decoupage. If you enjoy it, if you enjoy you know, fussy cutting it, then what you can do is uh, you can absolutely do that. So, but you've got the dies as well. So let me just show you what I mean by that. So I've been throughout the course of this show fussy cutting the elements out just using uh, a pair of precision snips. What you can do though is you can actually lay the dies over that pad and it cuts all the elements out for you that you would need. Once you're finished with the pad or you run out of the pad, don't worry because then what you've got is you've got the stamps there as well. So the stamps will allow you uh, to then stamp out the imagery and then use the dies to cut that imagery out as well. So you really are covered on a whole host of fronts. However you want to use these, of course you can. 2098 if you're in the UK, 3298 if you are in the US. Uh, Craig, uh, loads that we can do with these. I know these are one of your uh, absolute favourite products, this. They are. They really, really are. Whether I'm using the pad and the dies, whether I'm just using the pad and I'm doing the fussy cutting like Joe's doing, or what I'll do is I'll show you how you can do a bit of decoupage with the stamps. So with the stamps, they are designed to decoupage using the dies. Of course, as I always say, use them on their own if you want. But what you're going to do is you're going to stamp this one out several times so let's stamp this one i've just taken my noir black that's in with those swash stamps so we can take this one and i'm just using my white smooth stamping card so let's pop all them ones on so let's do a few so let's do four so we can then take these ones on and I'm going to pop these ones down. Now, Joe, if I'm going to be colouring in with my classic pens that we maybe got on the show, yeah. or illustrators, or tri blends, what I would do is I would stamp this onto Menina, which, funny enough, yeah. you get within that pack that's on the bun uh, it's in the you bundle. You do indeed. So that's a good one that you can maybe uh, bring in together and cross pollinate together. And if I'm going to be using any of my sparkles or my water based pens, then I would use my watercolour card. So even though we're doing decoupage, you can still do it onto all your different card stocks. And then, so I've got four images that I've stamped out now. What I can do is bring in my dies and I'm going to bring in this large detail die. So all that you need to do is, I know we've got this bud here. So I'm going to pop this one over the top and see how straight away, how it matches. So there's the stamp underneath. Once you've popped it into place, so you can't see the black line. That's it lined up. And then all that we're going to do is we're going to tape this one down. So we're going to tape that one and that one. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my next layer and then we're going to go over our next stamp and we're going to pop that one into place. Now you don't have the, the number guide, but just have a little bit of a play. Take your time and just make sure that you're happy that it's lined up and then we can tape that one. Then what we can do is let's take this next one. 
So we can then line this one up so we're just having a look and see. You can always have a look as well. So you're looking at the detail within the actual die. And then we're all that I do sometimes is I just work my way around and then I can see, is it that way? Following the outside of the die, just following it around so it matches the stamped impression, which is, I think it's just coming up onto this next bit. Is it that one? Or is it, I, had, I think I had it a minute ago, didn't I? So I can work my way, there, there we go. Happy with that one. So I can tape that one. Let's bring in our next one. Now, some of them, you might be able to do a couple of layers out of one, but let's take this one. So this is another one of the center bit. So I'm having a look of lining it up so I can see that that one's going to go there. And now I we'll must say, I've had a lovely time. I've, I'm nearly done, Craig, over here. It's so much fun, aren't they? So, so much, much fun. fun. I'm covered in glue. I'm loving it. <laughs> the counter's covered in glue. My notes are covered in glue. Everyone's I've had a lovely it. time. That's the main thing, as though you're enjoying it, taking your time, whether you're using the pads, of course, or whether you are maybe fussy cutting it, up to yourself. And then I think this one is from one of these center bits. So we'll set that to the side for the time being. But what I'll do is let's bring in one of these ones. So is this one going to fit there? Which it does. So pop this one on. Now this is where if you've got the large Gemini, pop it all the way through. That will go through perfectly. Or if you've got the junior, let's snip that one down. Let's bring in our plate and we can run this one through. That's going to cut. It's also going to give you that embossed area. And what happens as well is when it comes to some of the images, for instance, this stamp, it looks so elegant just leaving it black and white. Of course, you can then come in with your colouring mediums or why not cut into your pattern papers? So you get a pattern paper uh, flower, which looks really nice. But I can take this one. So here we go. We've got our die cut peony here. Then what I can do is while I'm taking this next one, let's take my other layer and we're going to run this one through. Lisa says, can't believe Joe is crafting. It was bound to happen eventually, she says. Uh, Panda says, that's it, Joe. You've caught the crafting bug. Watch out, Craig. Joe will be after your job. <laughs> I don't think so. I think we're a long, I think we're many, many years off that and being able to happen. Don't you worry about that, I uh, Panda. So. I uh, don't think so. Penelope saying she's loving all the shows as well. Uh, v Renee saying my go-to machine is a junior only because it takes up less space and have more work area for card making. So yeah, footprint wise, a lot of you loving uh, the Gemini. Uh, asked about what your favourite peekaboo character is. All of you just refusing to pick, saying that they're all too beautiful. So there you are. They are, you know, they're so cute. All of them, all cute. They're all fun to make. And the fact that you can do different things, just love it. But here we are. Now, simply, just as we were doing when it comes to the pad, we're just replicating that and we're going to pop these ones over the top, lining and matching up. Easy, easy. So then I can have a look and see. So it's that way again. There we go. Taking I'm just cutting my little mini bud out at the moment, Craig. It does get a bit challenging when you get to the small pieces, I must say, uh, with the fussy cutting. There we are. But do you not find that what makes it slightly easier is the fact you've got that outside line as well, so that you can yeah. just follow it? You yeah, absolutely, because you can just cut around that, can't you? Just leave the, that white bit on. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Or if you want to go in with a bit more depth of uh, snipping, you can. And then this one can go over here. I'm going to pop that. Now you could add more later. We've still got this leave here. Let's pop this one out. Let's do that one. Let's bring in a little pad here and pop this one in. But even black and white, maybe a little bit of gold. What you could do actually, take this backdrop one or this main die, cut this just in gold and do an offset shadow on the backdrop. That nice. Would look, do, I wonder. Have I got, have I got? Maybe it'd go nice with the bossing folder from the rose gold collection, actually, Craig. I don't have any gold cardstock here, do I? No, I don't. Otherwise, I would have tried it. But here we go. Can we see now how stamped our image? 
but you see how lovely it is and how effective it's really it is. Really nice, it's black, black and white, and Craig. White. How about um, maybe uh, heat embossing it as well? Exactly. Yeah. yeah, it might be another lovely way uh, that, that you can do it. So Shiny nice. flowers, yes, please. So nice indeed. How are you getting on though? I, I think I'm just on the final stretch. It's the, this is the last tiny last bit that I've got to do. This is the last the last leaf, uh, and I'm going to stick this leaf going to stick this leaf on now uh craig and then that is it is it that i'm just trying to find out which leaf it is it's that one there well, i'll tell you what leaf you do it out. That, i'll show you so these are the crafters companion these are the floral deco decoupage piano 20 pound 98 pence here in the uk 32 pound 98 dollars of course go to our website crafterscompanion.co.uk.com or dot eu you're going to be able to go there you can shop everything that's on the show as well as what's coming up uh, today you can shop and watch at the exact same time get all your comments and your questions in at the team social and we'll be able to help you out over the coming days and weeks but that gives you the idea that's what we've done just there okay so you see if you'll just have a little look here what we're way to do now is <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, hello dear hello <laughs> hello oh uh, no that was great uh, it's finished though. do you want to have a look at it yeah do you want to see my flower bang on the money Isn't joe it? i like it don't you think i mean it's a bit rough around the edges no it's but, not um yeah, I'm really happy with that. Like loads so of you dimension be. on there. Do you know what would be quite nice actually to double do one to double cut one, Craig, uh, and yeah. have it. Uh, you know, double the uh, when you double the vows, you double the intimidation, you double the power. What I mean is when you double the layers, you double the dimension, you double the effect, which is absolutely uh, awesome. Sorry, it's a I just shame that we don't have a demo of the show. That could have been the demo of the show. Ah, uh, uh, can you imagine if I'd have got into the demo of the show? And honestly, could you imagine if you won on Sunday? Oh, I mean, I, I think I'd just leave, Frank. I think I'd just quit. I think that'd be it. I'd go now. It'd be the peak. I wouldn't be able to, you know, I wouldn't be able to go any higher than there. Uh, do you want me to remind you again what is in that clear kit, of course? Uh, you are getting the dies and the stamps. So if you want to do the dies and the stamps on their own separately, as Craig's just shown you, absolutely you can. If you want to just fussy cut um, with the uh, pad on its own, absolutely you can do that. Or you can use the dies and the pad together uh, because they also work beautifully as well. So it's completely up to you how you want to do it. Now, there's loads coming up today. Uh, there is, of course, the launch of a brand new Sarah Signature Collection with myself and Craig. Craig will be here for the first half an hour. Uh, I don't know where Sarah is at the start of the show. Do you, where she, has she gone? I, I, I'm not sure. She'll let us know when she gets here, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, so I've no doubt that, sh that she'll tell us. You know, probably, what you'll probably do is you'll be able to hear her. If, like, you were watching Wake Up Call with Craig, where you could possibly have heard her when she was through in the next room on Crate and Craft launching it. But, yeah, I'm sure she, she'll, I'm sure she will tell us. Mm -hmm. uh, Katie says, a lot of people, oh, people are saying how much of a great job I did, Craig. I'm loving this. You did. Panda says, uh, great job, Joe. Fabulous. Joe needs to do more crafting, says Wendy. Uh, Diana says, great job. I love these. Have had to have a play with the gel. Have had to have, to have a play with the gel glue stuff. It's pretty good, uh, the gel glue. Uh, definitely have a go on that. Just if you do get it on your work surface, uh, give it a clean up. Um, so make sure it doesn't stick everywhere, yeah. Because can you imagine, there's me always blaming Debbie for everything. Imagine if there's glue gel everywhere when Ben comes in. Oh, we've got absolutely mad. Uh, now, make sure you check out your baskets. Make sure you have a look uh, at everything that's coming up. I know a lot of you, uh, don't mind, I'm just cleaning up whilst I'm doing this. Uh, a lot of you, I know already, have got your orders in for the launch show, uh, which is coming up a little bit later. Uh, Craig, do you want to let us know? I mean, Monday Makers is coming up myself and Jan a little later. Um, uh, and Sarah Brown, of course, live from Australia. Wake up call with Craig tomorrow. Do you want to give us a little, uh, little heads up what's happening tomorrow on your morning show? Absolutely, I will do. Uh, we are, I'm going to introduce you to someone else that works here at head office. I'm going to leave that as a bit of a surprise. She recently joined, so she's really, really new. And then I did say today Leanne was doing a bit of a glue school. It's actually tomorrow that she's doing a mini glue school. So she'll be popping in as well. So that's going to be fun. And gosh only knows what could happen after today's day. Absolutely. It's been a really fun Craft Folk show. It has. Been a great start to the morning this morning here on Crafters TV. Uh, two more shows to come. Uh, this is the only instalment of the Craft Folk today because Sa uh, Sarah uh, is up with Adam Freeman uh, on the US pages. I'll give you more information about how you can watch those as we go through the day. Uh, but uh, Monday Makers will be the last show on Crafters TV uh, today. It is a very, very full jam-packed day, though still nonetheless. Uh, I'll see you back here in an hour, okay guys? Take care. Bye.